fabric. I use a technique called deconstructed screen printing that's an experimental process that uses thickened dye. You paint or use a squeegee to pull thickened dye into your screen and then let that dry and it'll be you know depending on how you want to do it different viscosities and thicknesses in that screen. And once it's dry you use more uh, thickened dye print paste to re-wet the screen and you print that off onto fabric and what you what you end up with is a series of monoprints that evolve through the printing process. The first print will be often wildly different from the last. I've been looking at issues around motherhood and the domestic realm. Sometimes the imagery is quite abstract so the softness of the object can bring it back into that realm. Physical things that inspire me come from that world of being a, a young parent. The format that it ends up taking as a quilt comes out of this research that I've been doing over the past couple of years on American quilts and kind of the feminist response to those kinds of objects and their new role in the contemporary art world. The themes that I'm working with and the materials that are actually making up the work are always interconnected. Making quilts as art objects is, is interesting to me because sometimes I use materials that cannot be laundered or they're not at like soft enough to want to use as a blanket. Sometimes I make work that you could wrap yourself in. I'm really interested in the expressive capacity of pattern. All the ways that a pattern can be manipulated to make room for an emotional experience. Um, I think pattern is often thought of as a sort of rigid or dumb kind of imagery. Spending a lot of time with a toddler and earlier on with an infant, everything is repeating itself all the time and these slight variations will come up over time and that's when you suddenly realize you're like in a new phase um, and so I think I've been thinking about that just in my everyday life and then that's coming out in my work. showing up for the work is crucial and um, when you know circumstances get complicated or things change it's important to be flexible to, and able to like change your practice to fit the new life um, and for me that meant um, uh, making it so that I could do more work at home, which is part of why I started on this journey with textiles. I do, I have like half my practice here at the studio when I'm printing, and then the other half at home, um, sewing and cutting and designing. Um, I can do those things during nap time or like fit into these like small chunks of time. Um, and then uh, printing here at the studio is, like this, a, like a different headspace for that same work. 